Hey there and welcome to another tutorial for Motion 5. This is Motion 5.2.1 where we've been looking at the new feature that they've added in where we can create our 3D text. Let's select our 3D text tool and we'll put in some 3D text here on the screen. So in the previous tutorial I showed you how we create this 3D text and how we can adjust the various properties of it. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at how we can begin to texture this and create your own customized textures and materials here in Motion 5. So there's our text. Um, let's just maybe make the depth of this 3D text a little bit more. Knock down the weight a little bit so it's a bit thinner. Okay, so there's our 3D text here. And you can see here's our material and Motion comes with a bunch of pre-made materials already. So if we were to select one of these, let's say we go for the um, concrete, you'll see that immediately it has an effect on our text over here. We could change this maybe for a um, Let's go for some plaster, say thick plaster. And you'll see again, it has an effect here on our text. Now, if there's a customized material that you want, which isn't um, here with motion, if we go to our basic material and we select to add a layer, then we can begin to build up our own texture. So if I was to go for textured paint, for example, we add that as a layer and for our surface let's go for a um, cracked surface expand the placement there and if we increase the scale of our placement you'll see now you can see that cracked effect coming up here on our um, text there So we could change the color of our paint. Say we want it to be more of a stonish type color. There we go. And now maybe let's add another layer. And this layer will be a textured finish. And I think I want to add a stucco finish. So just the scale again. If we zoom in on our text, you might be able to see this a little bit better. So you can see here now if I turn off our textured paint layer, that we've got this textured finish, we can adjust the scale of our texture. We can also begin to adjust the depth of that finish, so how, how rough that texture actually is. When we combine those together, you can see now we have almost like a stone type finish. We've got the the rough texture from the stucco, which gives us this stone type um, rough finish, together with our cracked textured paint, it gives us almost like a cracked rock type look, like it's stone that's been cracked. So that's how we can begin to build up our own textures using uh, these layers. So we could add another layer if you wanted. Um, this layer you could add a finish, or let's say a polish. So if you wanted your stone to be more reflective or less reflective or more glossy or less glossy. Now you can't really see the effect of this right now because we don't have a light in the scene. So let's add in a light and we'll go switch to 3D. Now once we've added this light to the scene, you can begin to see how the glossiness has an effect 
on our text. So with the light there, if we come down here to our reflectivity and glossiness and we adjust those, it'll begin to have an effect on how our text looks with this light in the scene. Now our substance also here is plastic, so we don't want to change that to flat, which will also have a difference. And then if we select our light, Here we may want to then also begin to adjust the intensity of our light and we can drag it away so the closer we have it to our text the more of an effect it will have or the greater the intensity so if we jack up the intensity and move it out a little bit, center it on our text, move it away. Now the reason that you would want this light is because you may want the 3D text to begin to cast shadows on other objects within the scene that maybe we'll be adding in later. So um, the lighting is quite important to give that realistic 3D uh, look if you're going to have other objects and shadows. So that is basically a summary of how we can begin to build up your own features for the materials here in Motion 5. And once you're happy with the material that you've made, if you want to have access to it again without having to recreate it, there's an option to save this. So you can go to Save Material. And you could save this as, say, Cracked Stone, for example. Save. And that then becomes available here in your material library. So the next time you want access to this exact material, it's there already for you. So you don't need to recreate or remember what those properties were. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. It's just a brief introduction, really, to the power of Motion 5. You can find other tutorials there on my YouTube channel and over on my blog, where, 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 we, where we cover tutorials for um, Blender and 3D modeling, um, video editing using um, Final Cut Pro X, and also creating visual effects and title sequences and other cool stuff that you can integrate into your video projects. So thanks for tuning in. I hope this was useful to you and I'll see you next time.